everyone, welcome to Deepika Makeup. Hope you all are doing super awesome. In this video, we're gonna talk about a foundation that's currently a buzz right now. It's the L'Oreal Total Cover Foundation. I have just tested out this foundation for eight and a half hours. So in this video, I'm gonna share my thoughts and I'm also going to do wave tests. So stay tuned if you're interested. So first we'll talk about the details of this foundation. This is called L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Foundation. It is supposed to stay on for 24 hours. It's full coverage and a weightless feel. This retails for $12.99 and you can get these at drugstores where they sell L'Oreal or even on Amazon. And I personally got this at Walgreens. You get one fluid ounce of product which is pretty standard and it comes in this uh, squeezy tube form. I personally really appreciate when foundations come in this packaging because it's very easy to travel. There's no hassle of breaking or leaking and uh, um, it's very sanitary as well. You can get all the product of the squeezy tube. So I love the packaging. I will leave a few links for you where you can get this foundation from. This comes in 12 shades and they have covered some fair to medium to darker skin uh, shades. I don't say that the color selection is fantastic as in if you see their uh, L'Oreal True Match line where they have shades for different undertones and also wide range of color selection but this is pretty good i'm in the shade 309 caramel beige and it matches me perfectly so let's see the demo of how this product applies on my skin and then we'll move on to the weight test and finally i'm going to give you my thoughts it's a thick consistency it kind of feels mousy not really like completely uh, a mousse texture but just a little bit so I'm going to take that much of the product and I'm going to use um, both a brush and also beauty blender because these are the two uh, main ways I like to apply my foundation. So on the left side, I'm going to use a um, beauty blender. Um, hmm. It has covered really well, very, very well. And it feels really lightweight. I don't feel like I have product on my face, which is definitely a plus. And um, I can see that it's very matte. Um, I don't feel like um, it's full coverage at this point. I'm just trying to layer it up. Um, it did not cover my blemishes completely, as you can uh, see. I have a lot of blemishes so I would say it's definitely a high coverage foundation but my face has a lot of blemishes and texture so I need to do a little more work to cover everything so a second layer just on the blemishes covered really really well but I can tell that because it's dry um, I feel like it's showing the texture of my skin really well I thought of applying primer but I completely forgot so on the other half of my face I'm going to apply a primer right so to the other half of my face I'm first going to apply some um, primer I'm using makeup forever step one skin equalizer um, it's a hydrating primer and since I'm using a foundation which is very dry I think this primer will help so I'm just stippling the product on my face and this brush I'm using is Sigma Angle Kabuki brush F84 that is how it looks my first impressions is I'm very very impressed um, I don't feel like I have foundation on my face it has covered really well I don't feel the need to apply a concealer on my problem areas it feels matte um, it's not it, at this point it doesn't really feel uh, much drying but I'm going to set with the powder and do my usual uh, face routine so I'll let you guys know how I feel about it uh, once I have all the products on my face uh, but right now I don't feel the need to set 
this foundation it's matte it's it's beautiful it looks really nice since it's dry it's actually showing up the texture of my skin i have a lot of um texture on my skin i have blemishes um and i have bumps uh, from my acne so on the side where i don't have primer i can see my skin texture but on the side where i have primer um it looks really really good so i would definitely prefer using this foundation with a primer i can totally tell the difference i mean this side has a lot of texture than this side so i'm done with my makeup and that is how the foundation looks like the time now is two o'clock um so i'm going to keep this foundation on as long as i can but right now i can tell that i don't feel like i have foundation on my face i like the coverage i like the finish with the primer and um I really like how it looks like I don't have concealer on my face and uh, just one coat of the foundation and a j my son just a little bit of uh, extra foundation on my blemishes did the job for me um so yeah I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day. So I'm here for my first update. It's been six hours that I applied this foundation and it's 8, 10 right now. I thought of giving an update in between um, after like three hours, but I fell asleep um, and nobody wakes me up if I fall asleep and pretty much it's a disaster. But I did check a couple of hours before, uh, which is like four hours after I applied my foundation and it was like pretty much uh, fine, but I did see some um, oils uh, on my T-zone. But after six hours, um, the, my skin feels very oily, uh, especially on my nose. It's not my highlighter, it's actually uh, oil so mostly around this area i can see like a lot of oils uh, coming through and which is pretty normal i have oily skin and a lot of foundations do that uh, to me and i don't know if you can tell on camera but um it's actually a little better on the side i um, used primer than on this side and even though my skin got oily around my t-zone area the foundation looks intact it did not separate it still feels very right fit uh, the coverage is still the same and um, i like it but i do feel the need to uh, blot off oils or um, just touch up in general six hours the foundation held up really well and and I do see the need um, to use a primer and also setting spray for a good finish and also longevity of this foundation. So I'm here for the final update of the day. The time now is 10.30. So it's been eight and a half hours that I applied this foundation and my skin is oozing out oils and it's about time I have to remove my makeup or either if I want to stay longer, I have to touch up or, you know, blot off oils and put on some powder. Um, and again, as I mentioned previously, um, the side where I have primer looks better than the side where I don't have primer. My nose is totally, totally, oh my God, it's, it's <laughs> very, very oily. And um, I do see some foundation fading around my nose um but uh the rest all looks uh, pretty nice i don't see that the foundation is breaking up or uh fading the coverage is still the same i still feel that i don't have any product on my face a very lightweight foundation like the coverage and it's actually hold it up really well if i use a setting powder or if i touch up some time in between this foundation would have gone very very well i really like this foundation first of all it applies very easily and very well i really like that how easily it has blended into my skin the shade match was perfect um the coverage was fantastic it was very easy to apply i didn't really see a difference between how it applied with a brush and beauty blender but i can definitely tell that with a primer this foundation looks much better on my skin it does cling on to dry patches and shows up the texture on my face uh, which is one thing that I don't really like about this foundation but it's not that bad. I have some foundations in my collection which are matte foundations and they show up and accentuate my texture and also the dry patches. This is not that bad. It is workable. If you apply a little more moisturizer on the dry patches and apply this foundation, it's not really a huge problem and if you apply a primer and and use this foundation the texture doesn't show up that bad it is a high coverage foundation but since my skin has a lot of texture and blemishes i had to go over the problem areas just with another coat and it has blended very well and it has built it up 
seamlessly and it has covered very very well i didn't really feel the need to apply concealer on top of them usually i do have to use a concealer but with this foundation i was very happy that it has built it up very well and it has covered very well and throughout the day it did not budge whatsoever my skin is naturally very oily especially on the t-zone it's very very oily most of the foundations pretty much all the foundations i do have similar experience as i had with this foundation with the primer and a setting spray you can totally increase the longevity of this foundation I used this foundation yesterday uh, with a primer and also with setting spray and this hold it up really well without any problem for seven hours which is actually really good I would not usually keep my foundation for more than eight or nine hours so on the foundation it says natural finish which is right um, it waits up to 24 hours which is not true and um, I'm not going to test this foundation for 24 hours uh, for sure but I would give this a uh, 8 to 12 hour foundation with a primer and setting spray the coverage is high which is right and the texture is air light and that is very very true I completely agree with it it doesn't look flat matte neither does it look dewy or oily it is somewhere in between it looks very natural so that is all what I have to say I don't have anything bad to tell about this it's a great product overall I really really like this foundation let me know in the comments below if you have already tried this foundation or if you are thinking of giving it a go and that completes this video if you enjoyed this video and found this video helpful please hit on the thumbs up button and make me happy and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on my social media all my social media handles are listed in the description box I'm Deepika makeup everywhere Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you all very very soon in my next video. Goodbye.